Hello and welcome to another tutorial by uh, LearnPythonTutorial.com and uh, in today's tutorial is going to be a very short overview of the history of Python programming language. Python was uh, created by a gentleman, gentleman named Gito Van Rossum and I apologize if I uh, didn't pronounce that correctly. Uh, he created the language uh, back in 1989. He was looking for a hobby. He wanted to create an interpreter for a scripting language and that's how Python came along. Um, it's named after Multi Python's Flying Circus, which was a very funny comedy back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check it out on YouTube. It's actually really funny. Um, the first public release of Python was in 1991, and the language didn't gain much ground until 1994 when a public forum was created to discuss the language, and that's when uh, more and more programmers were attracted to the language. Um, in version one was released in 1994, and that was uh, uh, when people started noticing that the language was geared towards, you know, the average programmer. You didn't have to be a genius to use this, um, and that was Mr. Van Rossum's goal was to make a language that was easy to eat, use, easy to learn, easy to read. Um, in 2000 version 2 was created and that was a uh, that had the garbage collection which is a, a form of automatic memory in scripting um, in 2001 Python uh, created a nonprofit organization called Python Software Foundation and uh, reverse and version 2.1 was released in 2008 Python 3 was released to the public and Python 3 was designed to reduce multiple ways of doing something. Um, in a lot of programming languages there's many workarounds to do one thing and Python 3 was designed to limit it to only one correct way of doing things. And the idea behind this was to make the Python um, language easier to learn and easier to write and easier to understand. If there's only one way to do things it's going to be easier to memorize how to do it and easier for other programmers who are looking at your code to understand what you were trying to do or what you did. Um, so that was just a short overview. There's plenty more information and a lot of things did happen with Python. But uh, I just wanted to give you a shorter overview of what happened with Python throughout the years. So it was created in 1989 as a hobby <clears throat> and it's still going strong today. And uh, in our tutorials we're going to focus on Python 3. Um, Python 2 is great, but uh, I think Python 3 is going to be the future, even though it's taking some time to uh, gain traction. A lot of people are having a hard time parting ways with Python 2, which is understandable because Python 2 has been so reliable over the years. Um, but I do enjoy Python 3, and that's what our tutorials are going to focus on. Um, I will throw out some uh, information here and there as we go through our tutorials, like, hey, this is different in Python 2 than Python 3. If you learn either Python 2 or Python 3, you can learn the other. So it's uh, very simple. So uh, see you in the next tutorial. We're actually going to get started loading some, some uh, software onto your computer. And I'll uh, see you then.